ডেস্কটপ <laughs> So let me go back here to this Droid screen software. Okay, I'll also talk about this Droid screen. So I'm here. Now what I need to do is scroll it down and just need to click over your settings button. So click over your setting button <coughs> and you may search about phone. after searching your about phone tap over it and you have option of bill number now in order to get the developer access okay you need to tap over this bill number seven times i'm already a developer so i'm getting a message no need you are already a developer okay because i have already activate activated the developer options but for you like you have bought a new device and the developer options are pretty not activated so you will get a message that you are just six times be, uh, be, uh, behind the developer then five four three once you've done it for seven times you'll get a message that you are now a developer so after getting that message you need to come back and you may search developer options okay like i'm seeing the, the developer options here tap over your developer options and you need to anyways uh, make it on so that you could use it and scrolling down ensure that your usb debugging is activated if your usb debugging is not activated you cannot use your developer options you cannot uh, look why this is important this is important because if usb debugging as the very name says debugging is not present you cannot pour your app from your eclipse or android studio into your mobile device right so this is very important so now after getting this uh, developer options now the next step is to let me come back here this is a droid screen third party jar okay let me uh, talk about this also this is a url mm let me share over chat window also okay so this is pretty the url of droid screen where i am using it so you can simply download the beta version after downloading it it will pretty look like this okay and after that just double click over this jar okay and this jar would be like this and you could see your real device the what is the main advantage of using this droid screen like suppose you are testing any android build and somehow it is crashing somewhere okay so but for your developer it is not crashing so the easiest way is okay you could just go to droid screen you could share this screen using webex zoom anything and you could simply show to your developer that on the real time it is crashing here and this is the stuff even you could share the logs of the crash i'll talk about that also in the later classes fine so i'll be using this tool uh, in order to replicate my device over, over this desktop now coming back the third i action item is java i need to have java similarly configure 
Java and Android. Test engine. And at last, APM and few jars. Now I'll talk about this Java. What you need to do is just simply come here and write download Java 8. Okay, so you could be directed to this Oracle website, the official website. Uh, for this Java download because Java is pretty owned by Oracle. Java was the product of Sun uh, and then Oracle uh, just bought this firm Sun and now it's an official product of Oracle. So simply accept the license and after that depending upon the OS version like suppose you have Windows 64 bit if you have Windows 64 bit you need to download this one. If it is uh, you may say a 32 bit you may go with this one okay depending upon the windows version so let me share this link also for java so guys in this video we'll only talk about the setup how to basically you can say uh, set up the apm into your machine that's it so we are just going with the setup process only okay so we are good with this uh, talk of this annotation so I'm good with this I'm good with this I'm good with Java okay so when you will download the Java it's you will be getting a simple exe file just double click over that exe file and let it install in your system so after installing it look I have just installed it there are two things one is installation another is configuring it okay, like this is I have written here configure Java and Android here it's just Java you can say download Java okay now on the similar track I need Android Studio coming back here uh, sorry uh, Aditya, to interrupt you, I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. So I did download the uh, Droid one. It's asking me the path to ADB executable. Because your Java and uh, your Android is not properly configured. That's why it's asking you the path of the executable. Once your Java and Android are properly configured in the environment variables, like I have told here, uh, I need to configure this. Okay. So until and unless you configure these variables, your software won't work. Look, these all are interlinked with each other. Once all are on place, only then they will start working. Okay. Okay. Sure. So, uh, Android Studio. So we'll uh, go to the official website of Google okay the to download the studio so here yep so what you what we need to do here is just click over this download button uh, this is base, uh, nearly of 780, 790 MB. Okay, so look whenever you are setting up your system, ensure that you are under very good internet speed because uh, down the line you will be downloading of nearly uh, you can say 2 to 3 GB of data. So ensure that you are under very good speed and you have a good internet bandwidth also because you need to download 1 to 2 GB of data. So download your Android Studio. Okay, this from this link. I'll also sh share this link uh, guys after this class okay this chat window will go away so what I ad advise is you copy this URL into some place or into your desktop or somewhere else or any notepad because this would be helpful to all 
so side by side you could copy all this URL also so just click over this Android studio and like another software it will start downloading and it is also a exe file and I think you know about how to install this exe file I won't uh, dig more in that so after your Android studio is pretty installed in a system okay and uh, the exe okay then you'll be getting this kind of file okay let me open my studio uh, along with that so coming back to my basics my Java is downloaded my Android is downloaded my Android SDK is downloaded okay now the next step next step is to configure them okay so like you have installed your Java what you need to do is uh, someone raised the question that uh, droid screen is not working so in order to make it work you need to do this step this is the first step in your program files after installing Java okay you have your Java JDK bin fine copy this path and in your computer just right click over it properties and you have advanced system settings okay like for uh, if you're working with Windows 10 the option would be this PC and you right click over it you go to properties and you have environment variable so depending upon the different versions of Windows this computer or this PC has a different different name but the inner property is pretty same okay so go to your environment variable yeah now in your environment variable you have two options user variables and system variables in the system variable add a new one right here Java underscore home in caps and paste your Java path and then you may click over OK button okay like for me it is already done so after making it for Java okay if you'll see that I have also done it for Android so later on we'll do it so after doing it for Java you need to search your path and click edit button copy this path so at the end what you need to do is percentile java underscore home and percentile a semicolon you need to add this guys do not fiddle up with your path variable okay this path contains your windows file also like when your, uh, your system will boot it will it will start okay what file needs to be loaded what needs to be done so you need to be very careful while you're playing around with this stuff if you like mistakenly if you delete any one of the path or file your windows your system will get corrupt you have to reinstall your windows so be very very careful while you are fiddling up, uh, while you are playing around with your path okay do not fiddle it up so just add this come back look why i'm doing in a notepad so that it could give you a better picture the easiest way of doing this is at the end you could simply add percentile java home or after doing it just copy it come back here and paste it fine and then press the ok button then hello uh, yes uh, so I already have a Java path uh, which is pointing to the bin folder you already have Java home or Java path there are two different things first of all ja yeah Java home is just pointing to the JDK folder hmm. but Java path is for is pointing to the bin folder so uh, you need java home the, the variable name should be java home and pour that yeah. variable into your path so let the uh, bin folder still be there yeah let the bin folder still be there and, no issues and just add this uh, java percentile home right hmm. so, okay and change the java home to bin folder yes 
so after doing this now you need to check that whether your java is properly configured or not so the easiest way is just open your command prompt okay and write here java space version look i'm getting java version 1.8.0 underscore 181 the java that is being presented in my system so my java is now configured first of all i have just downloaded it now i have configured it okay so i'm now we are good to go with java also coming to the next step the next step is for android like we discussed here also java is configured now it's a term of android Nithal, i can hear you okay you can just ping me just ping me over chat window what doubt you have please ping your doubt here in the chat window if you can hear me clearly so let me open my studio this is an android studio that you you have downloaded okay okay just a second it will let me go back i'll answer your query just a second it will look the system variable and the user variable these are uh, totally different the user variable is only for your specific user okay it it might fail in another cases like you like normally when i am working on my window system i am suppose a admin so in admin cases it might fail because first of all when a system will load it will load all the files from a system variables depending upon the required files it will choose the user variable files so that is why okay you need to choose your system variable files only do not add anything in your user variables okay so the advisable is system variables is that fine okay aditya you you were breaking up i could not hear you is it with me only or with everyone is my voice breaking now guys is my voice breaking for me yes i could only hear your voice breaking okay just give me a second man now is it breaking or is it okay it's okay now okay so what i was saying was like uh, nitil just ask me about the system variables so my answer is if you add anything in your uh, if you want to add anything to your path the advisable is system variable not the user variable so you need to add your android home and uh, even your you can say java home into your system variables only okay uh my voice is audible na no whenever you, uh, add i do agree with at your work you have access to your uh, user variables only but when you are installing this you need to get the admin access from your it people you need to get the it access uh, you need to get the admin access from your it people because if you won't get the admin access while installing you cannot work along with your studio your studio has this requirement so whenever in any firm like suppose you work with your android studio and all that stuff you have to get the admin access for only for that purpose just to install and configure it okay so now when you'll open your studio okay no this is just a sample project it will look like this okay so at the last you have this download button you could see here download button sdk manager just click over this button okay and when you you click over this button look at the top there is some path f android august 18 sdk okay 
so this is kind of a path of my SDK location now what is this SDK SDK means this uh, system development kit like for and uh, Java also you have JDK the name is Java development kit similarly for Android you have SDK that is called as uh, someone call it as system development kit someone called it as software development kit but the better name is software development kit fine so here you have different different versions of your Android uh, like I have selected 7.0, 8.0 and AP level 28 you may select all these and after that you have option of apply okay like when I'll tap over this the apply will get activated just click over this apply okay and you will be directed to a new screen okay where it will start downloading now like I was talking about the internet speed and the downloading of uh, 2 GB of data that data is this you have to download all things like the Oreo and all that stuff so this will really take some time I'm just making it cancel right now because I don't want to download it I'll download it later so ensure that you have 8.1 7.1 and 7.2 and AP level 28 in your SDK platforms similarly in your SDK tools okay now you need to be very precise that what you need to have first of all ensure that you have Google USB driver this is very important this Google USB driver because uh, look what this Google USB driver contains is it contains most of your Google files now what is this Google file means look down the line we all are using Android it is pretty aware that this is and Android is pretty given by Google so what Google has done is it has bundled up most of the drivers of the different different devices but the term is most of the drivers not all the drivers so when you will use this Google USB driver you will install it in your system your devices will automatically be detected by your system it could be the case like your device is not detected then you need to install the special uh, the special USB driver of your device that is a separate thing but most of the devices would be detected with the help of this Google USB driver only so ensure that you have this Google USB driver you have Google web driver okay and you have your Android SDK platform tools Android SDK tools and Android SDK build tools these are the you can say a prerequisite before working with your and uh, Android so until unless all these tools are downloaded in, in your system you cannot work with Eclipse or APM or anything like with that so these are the important aspects so just the similar way just click over it like I click on this Google Play services then click over apply and OK and similarly this will start downloading and this will take a good amount of time downloading this all the stuff this will take some time so let it download okay I'll, I'll cancel it right now because I don't need it okay I'll also do it later but <laughs> I don't need, need it right now now similarly uh, I was talking about downloading and configuring studio sorry now we have configured Java now it's a term to configure this Android similarly copy this path only configure your Android into your environment variables after downloading your SDK platforms and SDK tools after you downloaded your SDK platform and, to, and tools ensure that you have restarted your uh, studio you need to restart it so that the changes could take place effectively right so copy your path similarly go to your properties now what needs to be done right here new Android home and give the path and then press the OK button like I have done here fine now I need to add this 
android home into my path like we did for java so similarly i'll go to path i'll edit it let's open it copy it and open it in notepad sorry it's already opened at the top now when you need to add android how to add android home here the similar aspect percentile android underscore home percentile slash platforms semicolon similarly android home and slash and platform tools you need to add these two after the semicolon can you ping those uh, aditya uh, i'll show you that from where i have got this name first of all okay this is a way how to do it now uh, like i have already done it Now the thing is that now on the similar ground, what we can do is, uh, sorry, I can copy this path and come back to my system and I could paste it here. Okay. Now, just just a second, just be with me. So now, how to get that platform tool? Look, I'm getting it from here in my Android Studio. Look, this platform tools, this platforms, everything is present here. So I'm getting everything from here only. Okay, I need to because look, this ADB is present here. It the ADB means Android uh, Debug Bridge. I'll talk about this. What is this AB and why it is needed? Like after configuring things, first of all, okay. Now you double click on your Droid screen. Now it will open because why it is getting open now big the reason behind is this adb means that the android debug bridge it is the bridge between your android device and your system now you have made a bridge look there are two corners and you have a river okay now one corner is your uh, laptop or your device another corner is your android device now android debug bridge it is a bridge between these two devices so that one can go from one to another the data could flow okay so that's why i have given the path of till this platform tool so that whenever i plug my device okay anyone can go to because when my once my system will load it will boot it will automatically pick pick this adb the bridge would be created between the device and my system and after that i could easily use my device for development so that's why this path is very important and that's why uh, when you were trying to open your uh, droid screen it was not opening because there was no path main made the main purpose of what this droid screen is doing it it is using that bridge okay and showing the device but in your case the bridge was not there so it was unable to cross the river it's as simple as that fine so after uh, having your android studio and all that stuff let me come back Now it's a time to download your Eclipse and our APM. So coming back. Just download Eclipse. The official website of Eclipse. Okay, and download this Eclipse Photon. Fine. 
this is also the similar process just double click over it and download it as simple as that like we downloaded other the softwares so it is as good as uh, downloading or installing the same software I think, uh, the foot Photon and Luna, those are different uh, yes. Eclipse versions? these are different. Photon, okay. Luna, Oxygen. There are total uh, 18 uh, versions of Eclipse. So we we need Photon right now yeah. for the... Inside Photon also when you will be downloading, you will be getting two options. One is for the Java, another is for Java IDE. Choose the Java one. Okay, so uh, when we do for Eclipse... Uh, I mean the, the selenium the photon will work yes I mean, yes yes it will work okay. Okay. it will work for Thank all you. the tools that contains your Java and selenium look so is it something the latest version or something than Luna or it's just a different type just a different type actually uh, in Luna there are some problem with the test ng uh, stuff okay. the test ng okay. libraries are pretty not compatible and that are being compatible with this latest version of photon so it's, it's recommended that uh, Photon will be fine for uh, uh, Selenium and uh, uh, this type of uh, testing as well. Right? Yes, actually I have uh, in my system also I have two different versions. One is Luna and one is Photon. Even I can uh, sh uh, like in the next classes. Okay, I'll, I'll run the program in both the uh, Eclipse and you will see the difference in one that how it is running and another how differently it is running. Even I can show you the difference also. In the upcoming okay. classes. Thank you. And uh, I have oxygen installed already. Do you want me to go to photon or oxygen is okay? Uh, look, I have worked over uh, uh, Juno and photon and oxygen. I'm pretty not sure that well it support. You just need to cross check that it supports test engine framework or not. That's it. Okay. I okay because look, actually there are 18 different versions of eclipse so i have just checked two to three versions mainly i have not cross check all the 18 19 versions that with which test engine is not compatible because i know with juno it is not compatible that i am 110 percent sure okay so just you can just try uh, uh, working with your oxygen also okay if it would not work then we, we can sync over it Sure. Okay. Thanks. So after getting your uh, Eclipse Photon for Java, because look, uh, there would be two different versions available. You will downloading. One would be for Java, and one would be for Java IDE. Means that is for the entrepreneur. Like suppose you are making Hibernate, you are making websites in Java. The second is for both. But we are only going for the automation purpose. So the only plain Java one would be okay for for us. Okay. But like this would be just a exe. Then you it will be downloading few packages from internet. So ensure that you are under very good speed okay so after getting your uh, eclipse okay we won't talk about the eclipse today that how to configure test ng and how to configure android and all that mechanism and this today will be just downloading the softwares okay so after downloading your eclipse let me close this window first of all so after downloading uh, in the Eclipse is downloading. Now it comes. Okay. Node JS and npm. I missed this. So right here, download. Node JS and npm. Now you need this Node.js also. So let's go to the official website. Yes, today we are just downloading the softwares. Okay. Tomorrow we'll discuss about like why we are downloading the software. Today we are, I have downloaded n number of software in our machines. Okay. Beat Android Studio, Java, XYZ, many softwares. So tomorrow the discussion point would be why these softwares are needed why this node.js why this n number of softwares fine just give me a second guys yes i'm back so uh now i'll talk about this node.js and all that stuff 
let me have a bundled one depending on your OS version you could download it just a second guys I'm looking for a bundled version so that it could be more easy yeah this is the link I'll share this link so from this link okay you need to download this version 8.11.4 LTS this is a recommend one and this will work with all the systems okay now you have node with you you have Eclipse with you you have pretty all the softwares with you now it's left is only APM let me go with this APM also first would be APM another would be selenium because we need to download the selenium jars also so coming to your APM sorry APM.io yes so here you have option of download APM just click over this option and you will be uh, redirected to a github page why it is not redirecting yes it is so this is a version and we need to install apm desktop setup 1.6.3.exe need to download this one even i can share the link for the apm also So this one 1.6.3 exe desktop setup so now we are good with APM now we are just left with the jars so in this APM.io you have a download and you have option of Java like because uh, we are in need of Java jars <coughs> okay I won't download this jars today because that would be too much I'll just stop it here so now we are only left with the APM jars and Selenium jars. I won't download the Selenium jars today also. Guys, now we have downloaded n number of softwares today. I think most of you uh, might be in the dilemma that why these softwares are needed. Why we are just downloading the software. We were just in a hurry of downloading all the softwares today. So look, everything in this APM is interlinked. One with the another. Okay, if you talk of the softwares and all that stuff these are having the main linkage with each other now what is the uh, interlinkage what is the bridge between them and why we need this software okay and uh, Eclipse is justified we need why we need Eclipse we can justify it why we need Android Studio still it could be uh, justified Java could be justified but why this node why this NPM what is the main need of these softwares because we don't need them even this Android studio you guys don't need Android studio because we don't need to do any type of development work in Android studio we'll be using Eclipse then why we have to download this Android studio of this 1 GB and then we are just downloading 1 GB of the uh, SDK files so why this stuff okay so I'll answer all the queries in the next uh, next class so anyone having any doubt Aditya, the doubt is not exactly with this, but uh, pretty much same, I would say. Uh, I did a, a training last time, and uh, I just wanted to know how I will get the access of uh, the training videos, not the one which are there on the site. Just a second. Let, let me pause it because 